The forest was our kingdom. In the beginning, it was just Muriel and I under Master Vandal's training. Then Adele joined us. Back when being a king meant wearing a paper crown, and being a warrior required only a wooden sword. Back when we were too young to understand the power of oaths. That's when another joined us. Ah, I thought I'd find you here. My little warriors. Master Vandal. Skipping class, I see. I'm sorry, Master Vandal. <laughs> Dinner is getting cold. Don't make me come out in. Yes, dear. I have a new student to introduce you to. Adeline. Vandal? Gooseberry peaches and cream, what is that? Oh, I'm so sorry. I... Is... Is this magic? Meet our guide. Oh, yes. Hello, my name is Oswin Brunswolf. Uh, well, Professor Oswin Brunswolf, technically. Oswin, this is Lord Adele of Bodvar, and this is Muriel. Hello there. Let's keep moving. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wolf Warden, what is that thing? Oh, uh, I am Oswin. Wait, didn't I say that already? He is the only one in this kingdom anymore who knows a thing about magic. Happy to make your acquaintance. <laughs> Tell me, Lord Adele, who is your second these days in the halls of Bodvar? There is no second. No more double-headed bear? I need to update my books. Muriel, do you hail from Bodvar as well? Um, we should cut through the woods. Stay off the main road. We're too out in the open out here. Well, this is hardly a main road, but it is the safer option. Maybe for your army, but there are only three of us. Sorry, Professor, four of us. Pirates scout these roots. Good. They can take us to their captain. This isn't some ambassador from Bindwall. The river folk are criminals, okay? We're gonna have to arrange a meeting with Captain Lorne Lake. If we sneak onto their ship at night. Muriel, we are not criminals. Now that may be the way you do things, but we are servants of society. Why do you know so much about these pirates and it? I don't, I just, and they prefer to be called river folk. What, so you're a pirate now? Don't call them pirate. You're a pirate. I am not. Hey, okay, stop. Not asking you to be best friends. 
I'm asking you to help me find my advice. Your friend. We'll stick to the main road for now. Fordrin has gone south to the Isle of Ivory to prepare for his crowning. The Ostromar ambassadors will be here in a week's time. Prepare as if he were here. My lady, this is how it starts with Ostromar. They send their ambassadors, and in a year, five years if we're lucky, they send a prince, and Lorne becomes just another Ostromar colony. What is it you needed from my brother? Just that there is still no word of Princess Adeline or the sorcerer. Queen Adeline Fenrir. Queen Adeline, my lady. Fordwin. Fordwin, can we trust her? Come on, Vidal. Can you trust me? Have I ever steered you wrong? Yes. Tarit's birthday party, when you told me it was themed. <laughs> <laughs> and there was that other time in, um, Delir. What? No, no, it's very <laughs> She will endanger this mission for them. Can't have this argument with you. Watch your heads. Oswin says that he is 73% sure that these berries are not poisonous. Perhaps 71%. Shall we take bets? Can we be serious? Please. Am I in trouble? Fordman, we need to talk about our plan. What do you know of the sorcerer? I, uh... Look. Gotcha. Oh. oh, hey, 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 hey. We can talk about this, okay? King Lornlink wants his money, thief. Well, we can work out a deal. We need to speak with your captain. Captain? He didn't mean that. He doesn't know what he's talking about. We can still work something out. Put with a charade. We don't bargain with pirates. Sir, did she just call us what I think she called us? She did. Put your swords away, or I'll kill your friend here. Oh. She's not my friend. You guys, there's really no need to. Don't me. Seriously.
Welcome back, thief. I hear your friend has called my people some very derogatory names. Uh, people who... What? Pirates? Oh, no. <laughs> you are literally on a ship and your tattoo says River Pirate. Oh, I know it hurts. But we are above this. I, King Lorne Lake, are the river folk. I'm a very merciful lord. You'll be spared for your hurtful words. You, however, broke your contract. You told me you wouldn't send me what? to the... The Roven Hills? Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> What did you do with our friend? What are you going to tell them? Good morning, dearie. Did you have a nice nap? Where are my friends? Where are my friends? They're safe. For now. Are you Captain Longlake of the River Pirates? You know, it's really rude to refer to us as pirates. You rob merchant ships from your ship. Okay, okay. Listen, I'm trying to go for a facelift here. How are we branding, eh? I did inherit this position, and I'm sure that something you know about wouldn't you, your highness. I wasn't joking when I said you would have me to deal with if you stepped out of line. Does it technically count since I stepped out of line for our quest? Unbelievable. This is how it always is with you. Just slippery tricks and lies. You want me to tell the truth then? Are you capable? And I... Uh, hey! What are you doing? Hey! Muriel. Hey, you up there! Come here, I got something to say. What? You're gonna need to let us go so we can save the queen from the clutches of a sorcerer. Shut up. <clears throat> ah. <clears throat> Truth. Brilliant. <clears throat> what did he want in Ruovin Hills? The sword. Did you find it? I didn't go, remember? Okay. Okay. This... It's hurting Fordway. And it is not helping us find Adeline. I propose... a truce. We stop... trying to kill each other, and we... Try to be at least somewhat decent until this mission is complete, and then we can go back to never speaking again. Muriel. Muriel! Turns out, truth works. Sometimes. And, uh... Yeah. Truce. Now let's go save Portwin. Oh. In the book. Oh. You're a lot younger than I expected. Yes. I'm looking for someone. 
I thought you might know where I could find them. I'm not gonna kill you. Well, I'm sure as hell I'm not gonna let you go, Prince Bordwin. Or should I say, King Bordwin? I heard about Daddy's little accident. <laughs> yeah, we tie good knots. That's probably why people refer to us as pirates. Well, maybe because you're thieves. My ships are plagued by you and your men. We have women in our employment. Just saying. I'm looking for a sorcerer. You've got bigger problems. When was the last time you peeked over the western border? The sorcerer. You know where he is. I see you know who he is, too. A little more than a sorcerer, eh? You're a fool to go after him if it's true. He took my wife. Mm. Ah, you're never going for it. Try me. You pay back double what your friend stole from me. Done. And you make me ruler of the Riverland. And you acknowledge that the river folk are real people. And you let me kiss your pretty little face of yours goodnight every full moon. <laughs> Deal. Excuse me? You'd have to follow the laws. Laws are bad for your business, I hear. Well, I mean, I, between you and me, I tire of this business. Here. But my men, they follow me faithfully. And women? And women. In the country of Peregrine, there are whole cities built on rivers. Houses, buildings, temples, all on stilts on the Janigan River. And a river? I hmm. can't make you king, but Lornley, Lord of the River Folk. That's a nice ring to it. Lord Lornley. It sort of does roll out the tongue. Only you can't kiss me every full moon. Your loss, laddie. Your loss. Thank you. The Bajellian charged, didn't they? That idiot. Well, I guess the deal's off then. I gave you my word, Lord Lorne Lake. Lord? Um, I'm sorry. I believe it when I see it. Wait. I have a mission for you, my lord. In service of the Crown Prince. In service of the King, you mean. <laughs> We've got you back, boss. I mean, Captain. King. My lady, there's a man insisting on seeing you. He keeps rambling. You cannot disturb the princess. Send him in. <laughs> Went through the willows. Leave us. My lady, I. Please. Heard from my brother? The dreamy code. Wind through the willows. Ooh. What is the message? He's gonna take a lot longer than originally planned. He's sorry. Some sentimental hogwash about how you'd be excellent. To be honest, I didn't pay attention to the last part. How much longer?
Well, it was either a really stupid decision or an ingenious one. This time will tell. It is quite unprecedented in Lornish history, that much is certain. So what did the pirate captain, Lord, say about where to find the sorcerer? My journey will be longer than predicted. We head north near Paylor Ridge, through the Lornish wilds. We need to find a witch of the woods. Oh, still I wait for you, sailing on her 